raw material prices continue to increase, especially the 304 stainless that we make most of our billet merge collectors from. So as the price of these increases, it gets even more important to figure out what is the most effective way to get the best bang for the buck from your exhaust manifold. So the uh, traditional type of uh, parallel inlet, this is what would, you would typically use on a normally aspirated one. But when you uh, weld this fully for a turbo use, at one point it doesn't make sense to use an angled one instead. Of course, the angled one is, uh, these are different sizes, but overall view, the angled one will always be uh, shorter for the equivalent geometry uh, compared to a parallel inlet one. So what are the uh, pros and cons of each of these? What does that mean for the geometry for your uh, exhaust manifold? How does that work with uh, fittage? And yeah, what kind of a recommendations would we uh, do for that? Uh, of course, price-wise, angled is a no-brainer. It's on average going to be cheaper than the parallel one, depending on quantities and all of this. But on average, the uh, angled one will be better. But uh, let's actually head over to the computer and I'll show you a little bit of what the uh, geometry actually works because that is something that all of you might not uh, have uh, thought about. Okay guys, welcome to the streaming setup. Uh, so let's first take a look at what this type of uh, parallel inlet uh, collector, like this traditional type, would kind of look like. Okay, so this is kind of like the what the cross-section of this looks like. So we have the parallel entries here and then they angled first maybe it's easier if we watch viewed from this angle so it angles uh, inwards and then it angles back out to have a, a parallel exit from the uh, from the collector part and yeah this is uh, very good very traditional what you would uh, use for a normal aspirated car when you have like uh, pipes just coming in and you want to be able to uh, take things apart easily but with a uh, uh, turbo stuff where these typically will be used most of the time uh, you will need to weld the uh, the runners on it on in in any case where we kind of have like this extra part here so what if we just cut this off here and just uh, have the inlet pipes instead let's do it would be a I don't know, this might cause eye cancer, but we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, just have the uh, inlet pipes uh, weld directly onto this at an angle instead. So as you see, the internal angle in this case, there, there's like no, it doesn't get, uh, the, the angle doesn't get any steeper. There's no overall like uh, issue with having angled inlets at all. It still flows exactly the same internally, the collector. It's just that you have the inlet pipes coming in, in at an angle instead. It's like this. This is just basically a shortened uh, parallel inlet one, which means that the raw material for this is much smaller, so you can get a better uh, price on these. There's uh, less material to, to remove also, so theoretically we can machine a, a cheaper collector for you guys. And this is also... Uh, depending on the geometry, also easier to weld because you have better access to the central area here. Because if you see something like this, when you weld up all the uh, pipes, you, you'll ha have a tricky time. I mean, the pro the pro TIG welder guys can definitely figure this out and they do weld these. But it's just much easier to weld it if you're using something like this, where even when you have three other pipes pipes already attached, you're attaching the last one, you have a, a large V-angle, so you, you can't reach everything. Uh, now, there are, of course, some benefits to using this. So, for instance, if you, uh, you're you really optimizing engine performance and you want uh, the uh, correct length uh, exhaust primaries uh, to match the uh, cam timing and the RPM that your uh, engine will be, uh, will be running at, and you need uh, longer pipes typically, um, depending on the RPM and all of that. But if you end up needing longer pipes and you need to package the exhaust manifold in a really narrow area, then you might not have enough space to have angled inlets because you will need immediately from, from the angle, you will need a, a curve again uh, in the actual piping. And that might, might be more difficult to do than to just use a parallel inlet a collector and just have uh, straight pipes uh, into it. And, of course, the main benefit of this is uh, cost, and you can make the exhaust manifold shorter also, especially if you have if you want to run uh, uh, short pipes and you want to package things as, as shortly and compactly as possible, then the angled inlets are much easier because you will have a wide cylinder head with multiple pipes exiting, and those will be 
like normally already entering from different angles so then you would want uh, angled inlet for that type of exhaust manifold uh, strength wise performance wise there really shouldn't be any difference uh, as you see from the from this this type of uh of, uh yeah conceptual sketch here very very high tech <laughs> uh but yeah there is no difference uh, internally flow wise between angled inlet and a parallel inlet one uh theoretically the angled inlet one flows slightly better if depending again on the entry pipes and stuff like that because you're like cutting one curve out of the equation that you don't necessarily need but these are really really small differences so there really shouldn't shouldn't be much happening there well, I hope you guys found that interesting. So hopefully now you have a little bit of better idea of when to use the angled one, when to use the parallel inlet one, and yeah, what the trade-offs are and how to get the best exhaust manifold for your particular use or for the customers that you're building your uh, exhaust manifolds for. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one. Bye.